Next is gait theory of pain. Now let's say after gymming, your biceps have started paining. Now that pain is carried by the pain fibers which are A delta or C which are unmyelinated fibers goes to the dorsal horn, relays there and the second order neuron from there crosses the midline and goes to the brain, right? Now you will see that the pain in the bicep relieves by massaging your biceps, right? That means by massaging your biceps, the touch fibers would be stimulated and goes to the dorsal horn while going up they'll send a collateral to the pain fiber which will inhibit the pain fiber. That means stimulation of large fibers closes the gate of pain. Implication li lies in the massaging itself. That means by massaging you can relieve deep seated pain. Next implication is transcutaneous electrical nerve uh, stimulation. You place an electrode in the skin and that sends the electrical signals which stimulate the touch fibers and that would ultimately inhibit the pain. This is in the trial where you can put electrode instead of giving local anesthesia to the patient. So here's the similar question. Hot water bottle relieves the pains of abdominal spasm by, right? It stimulates the adrenergic fibers because the nose carrying that are the adrenergic fibers. Next is transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation is based on gait control theory of pain. Allodynia it is something when touch hurts when it shouldn't. If a person is having migraine, even in some person, even you, even if you touch, it will feel a lot pain. That's allodynia. Sympathetic stimulation increases blood flow to all except Let's imagine a, a, a situation where you have exercised a lot and are sitting and finding your own findings. What about your coronary circulation? Will it be increased up to some extent? Yes. Brain? Yes. Skin? Yes, because heat will dilate the vessel of skin after exercising, right? So you, <laughs> your answer by exclusion is renal and obviously you don't want to form urine while you're exercising, right? So sympathetic stimulation does vasoconstriction by alpha-1 receptor.